Well, back on trail after a good zero in Pine Grove yesterday. Uh, celebrated Marshmallow's birthday, which is pretty cool. Hung out, took it easy. Not much of anything uh, to get into aside from some Arby's, and some McDonald's, a Dollar General resupply, and uh, just taking it easy. So back on trail now. That was our first zero in uh, 11 days. So it's good to be back out here now. And uh, feels nice. It's going to be warm today. Looks like it's going to be dry for the next week or so. So looking forward to some good hiking. Well, the Pennsylvania rocks have definitely gotten a little more serious. And I am very grateful that I just picked up my new pair of shoes from the post office before hitting the trail. A little bit of a view down there. Hey. I'm hiking here, pretty girl. You gonna let me go? Hey, yo. Hey, you. Hey. There you go. Take care. So that was a pretty little deer. Um, about a mile left till we get to camp for the night. Uh, staying at an old shelter site that's really just kind of a tent site now, down on a creek. And uh, here there's a rope swing and some good water. So maybe gonna take a dip tonight. If not, maybe first thing in the morning before uh, the trail but somewhere around 16 miles for the day hit the trail around 12 12 30 or so so it's a nice pennsylvania morning and this has been a pretty sweet little spot to hang out at for a little bit but uh decided i wanted to stay dry this morning so plan for today is to uh, do about 19 into Port Clinton, get a good dinner of some sort in town, and if I'm not mistaken, there's some sort of uh, little hiker hostel, hiker pavilion, something like that in town where we'll be able to stay for the night. Well, making my way into Port Clinton here. So Port Clinton has been a really good stop. Uh, made it into town yesterday afternoon, made it on down to the pavilion, which was awesome. Uh, Icarus was there. He was uh, doing some trail magic. He threw a beer my way as soon as I rolled up. Uh, I went and sat in the river for a little while. Icarus took us out, we went to Walmart, did a little resupply, ran by five guys, had a good dinner, came on back. We all just hung out with a bunch of hikers. They're uh, in a nice grassy field where we pitched our tents. But uh, this morning, Icarus rolled back up again and had Dunkin' Donuts with him. So I actually had breakfast sandwiches and donuts and a full spread this morning. So pretty sweet, but walking through town now, headed on back to the trail. Uh, gonna get on up today. And we have some awesome cliffs that I'm looking forward to exploring with some caves. 
might hang out, see if we can get to a camp spot with a view. Today is the fourth, so expecting to be able to look down into the valleys and see a lot of fireworks around. I am glad for the smooth trail right now because in just a little bit, it's going to be getting very rocky. A little Oreo break before my climb up to Pulpit Rock and uh, the Pinnacle. People call it Roxylvania for a reason. So the pinnacle was uh, pretty sweet. Nice little views down into uh, the surrounding fields, that farmland down there. Just beautiful to look down and see little specks of people and vehicles and birds flying off in the distance. And it was nice, hung out for a couple of hours, had a good snack, took my shoes off, aired out my feet, laid back, rested a little bit. So nice to see a lot of people coming out on the fourth and enjoying being outside. Being with their families is great. And shout out to uh, Lindsay and Matt, or Maddie. We passed them on trail and we hung out for a little bit. So you guys are pretty awesome. Thanks for uh, saying hey. camp is set up. Looks like I'm going to have Dan's pulpit to myself for the night. Here's the view I'm going to be working with here. About to come on over here and have dinner in just a minute. There's a city or a town of some sort back over that way. You guys can't see it. it's gotten a little hazy right now but Hoping for some fireworks back out that way. And I'm really counting on this farm right here. I have a nice little McMansion down there. Uh, I can see that their driveway is full of cars. So I'm hoping that uh, right up in here, I'm gonna have a nice light show tonight. Good morning from Pennsylvania. I think I'm gonna be hitting some uh, bigger rocks today. So it's a gorgeous Pennsylvania morning, as most of them have been. It's in the 60s right now. The sun's definitely trying to uh, warm things up a bit, but this green canopy is not allowing much sunlight in, which I'm grateful for. I'll stay as cool as long as I can. <laughs> There's another little uh, shot of some Pennsylvania rocks here. So here's why this big slab right here is called Balance Rocks.
pretty wild. I think this might be knife's edge. I love these little rock scrambles. Especially when they come up and give you a nice little view. Oh, they're my white blazes. Trails that way. That's some more rocks here. Pennsylvania's really laying it on me now. And guess what I'm gonna show you now? More rocks. This is the trail sometimes too. Well, that formidable looking mountain with the huge rock scrambles, that's what I'm about to climb. Should be a pretty good way to wrap up the day. Once I make it on up there for the night, it's gonna be pretty dry with no good water sources. Actually, I don't have a good directly on trail water source for the next 20 miles or so. Looks like I'm gonna have like a 0.6 blue blaze if I wanna go off trail to get water. So any water gathering is gonna be an additional mile round trip. So one beautiful thing that I love about Pennsylvania, it's kind of out of necessity and also out of the kindness of people's hearts. At a lot of road crossings, you have numerous jugs of water. I'm talking like 10 or 20 gallon jugs um, that people who support through hikers come and fill these jugs up with water so that when we hit road crossings, we can grab water out of a jug. I still filter it, of course, just to be safe. I just now filled up from my only natural water source of the day. Um, I've been relying on those jugs and uh, filled up from a hose out back from behind a restaurant earlier. I do wish that the sun were uh, a little lower in the sky, but we have a little cool breeze providing a little reprieve. Up, up and away. Still got plenty more to go. And I guess now, starts the climbing part of it. A little more. It's breathtaking, literally. I'm on 
backside. And it's even rockier. <laughs> Well, after today's rocks and after that last climb that just now brought me to about 23 miles, I'm about to look for a place to set up camp for the night. I'm just gonna roll along this ridge for a little bit, hopefully in the next mile or so, find somewhere, gonna get some food in me, get horizontal. A little sunset view of Palmerton down there. And after all those rocks, Pennsylvania has rewarded me with a smooth walk. <laughs> so I thought that once after topping out from that climb, I was gonna have plenty of options within the first few miles, but this little ridge line has proved to be fairly rocky and inhospitable. Saw one little tent site, but wasn't really happy with that, so. I know I have an official one that's kind of coming up here according to gut hooks, just shy of a mile, so it's actually going to put me at about 26 for the day. Nice little sunset view. Oh, a couple of fireworks glittering down there. The speed of light is much faster than the speed of sound, ladies and gentlemen. Right back into it this morning. So I was thinking back on yesterday, and out of those 26 miles, I'd be willing to bet that for at least six of them, my feet did not touch the ground. <laughs> so as I was saying yesterday about water at the trailheads, here's what we're looking at here. I think different people do it, definitely one person Mun, I'm not sure if if that's it or not, but uh, anyway, appreciate whoever you are that leaves this water because Pennsylvania is pretty dry. There's a little note right here: the upcoming spring is dry. And quite frankly, Pennsylvania just doesn't have the best water sources. Not bad, but not good. So this is pretty neat here. This is a map of the AT. Coming on down to Springer Mountain, Georgia. Following up that blue line. That's where I am right here in Pennsylvania with that thumbtack. And then that's the rest of the way up to Maine. And that little pink thumbtack has me at mile 1,272. So I'm about a mile from getting down this mountain right now. I'm gonna head on into Wind Gap for a resupply. It'd be great if I could get a hitch. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to, so I have just shy of a, a two mile road walk to get to the grocery store, but gonna get at least three days worth. Gonna see about maybe getting some dinner. Really craving some bananas right now. So I'm thinking about four bananas, find some chocolate milk, some sort of a protein source. They have a deli, maybe get some chicken tenders. Hmm, definitely want something green. Might grab a salad too. Uh, yeah, we'll see what civilization has to offer. So here is the aftermath of a successful resupply. The food bag here is nice and full. And 
here's what I got going on food wise for a little bit of an early dinner. Should go down pretty easily. Dad, why don't you meet me up New England way? We gotta run into Portsmouth and get some Moe's. This isn't anywhere near as good, but satisfying the itch. So just stopped at this uh, little home right here. A guy named uh, Otis was outside working on his lawnmower and he has a nice little spigot with a hose and I actually ran into him on my way into town for that resupply. He told me to stop on by my way back out and fill up with water. Um, my bottles were empty, bladders empty, and uh, I'm not gonna have a good water source for a little bit, so cameling up with some water so I can uh, have plenty for in the morning and I'll be fine until I can hit water source tomorrow at some point or a gap or a road crossing that has plenty of jugs. So I actually just found a pretty sweet camp spot. Plenty of good, soft, grassy spots here to get set up. It's about six o'clock. I'm at uh, 18 trail miles for the day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stop here, rest up, and uh, probably get a pretty early start tomorrow morning. Make it into Joyzy, baby. And as of today, I also realized that some pretty gnarly pit chafing that's uh, getting started there. So I need to do a better job of keeping my shirt washed out. That salt gets in it and it just rubs all day long. Does anybody know what this is up above me in this tree? <laughs> so, I figured out what it is. They're owls. It's about an hour and a half later. I'm still going at it pretty good. And from what I can tell, there are at least three or four of them out there. I can hear them moving around. I'm not going to hear them moving. They're moving silently, but their sound is moving. Just went out there to go pee, shone my headlamp up in the trees, and there are a few of them out there. So it's a cool, misty morning on trail this morning. A little cooler than I expected. Um, mist is going to hang around for a bit, I suppose. Thought we were going to get some uh, precipitation last night, but ended up holding off, which is fine by me. Um, did end up sleeping in earplugs. Those owls were just so loud. I usually don't like wearing earplugs just because it prevents you from hearing anything that's going on outside your tent. I like to know if I have critters coming around, but sleep uh, was a priority. So uh, sleep I got, but I ended up taking them out probably an hour or two later. They quieted down probably, I'd say by, uh, by four or so. Probably about, uh, 13 miles outside of Delaware Water Gap, which means I'll be in New Jersey by lunchtime. In case anybody was curious, Pennsylvania is still pretty darn rocky. Well, coming across Wolf Rocks right now reminds me a good bit of Knife's Edge. Hit a couple days ago. But, uh, yeah, just a good long spine of a rock scramble. I'll take this all day over those small, sharp, pointy, shoe puncturing, ankle breaking rocks that I've been hitting for the first five miles of today. Can't see much, just a bunch of green canopy. Shoo-wee. This ought to be fun. Well, making my way down to Delaware Water Gap. So I heard that there was a place in town that has pie. I would like some pie. Is 
are the words I like to see. Now this is what I'm talking about. Well, when you can get a hot dog and a slice of apple pie for $2.95. So my stop here in Delaware Water Gap was really sweet. Um, on my way into town, I uh, ran into someone that was coming up the mountain. I said something about ice cream and they just told me something about pie. So there was a little ice cream shop, but once I heard pie, I had to look into it. So uh, yeah, a little place in town, awesome special uh, hot dog and piece of apple pie for $2.95. So of course I doubled up on that. Um, gave a piece of the, one of the pieces of pies that I had to a buddy named Fairweather that I just met. Fairweather's an awesome dude from Maine who come to find out even with me being from North Carolina, my dad's from Maine, and we started shooting shit, and Fairweather knows a bunch of people that I know. Got my dad on the phone, they talked for a while, so just real small world stuff sometimes. So.